So you want to start a garden, but you don't know where to start. Um, a queen bee it was like the size of a penny, but bigger. Yeah? How big? Like, right? It was like this. Ah, and what did you do when you saw it? I don't know, I just stayed here until it cool. But there's still another bee right there. Alright. Yeah, we don't bother about the bees. They don't bother us, we don't bother them. Alright, so what you gonna do? I'm going to feed the kids. Alright, well, let's get the water to the kids. One way to get past the bees. You just walk past, they won't bother you. They've been there all along. One of the main reasons for creating this entire YouTube channel is to help a few of us out there who are looking to develop a backyard garden and um, you know give some pointers, some guidance as to the do's and don'ts. Now I know right now there are a lot of people out there who really don't know how to start and what to do with the plants that they have or the plants that they would like to have in their garden. So we're gonna give you some tips and some tricks, what you can do, what you cannot do, what you shouldn't do while creating your backyard garden. Um, because sometimes you don't have a lot of backyard space. So we're gonna find a way to use what you have and to make the best out of it. Okay, today I'm going to be moving some of these young watermelon plants over to the bed because they're not doing very well in here. Um, I think I put them in the wrong um, seedling trays so they they don't have enough space for their roots to grow it's the same story with the cucumbers so it may not be the size of the seedling trays because these are in a, a larger container I think it may have to do with the access to light and the fact that I left them underneath the rabbit hutch I've picked out this location at the lower end of the bed and over here we're gonna plant our watermelons so I'm gonna use all of this area I'm gonna put down these plants they're a bit young but they need to get down into the soil so I can save them the roots are filled up you can see this the roots are filled up the um, entire container so it was time all right guys so we have a new rabbit in the family this one um, I traded out one of my greys for this one because um, the breeder I got it from, they they having some very good quality rabbits who have very large litters. So I believe um, mixing these with what I have will give me some really nice rabbits. So this white hair looks like a, a pure New Zealand. So I expect her to put on size pretty quickly, but they don't get as big as what looks like a, a standard chinchilla, American chinchilla. So these are quite large breeds and they grow very fast as well. All right, guys, we'd like your help getting a name for this new white rabbit. Um, we have no idea what we're going to name it. so. If any of you have any ideas, you just post them in the comments and we'll take everything into consideration.
Hey, I'm Noah. These are my bean plants. I'm growing them myself. They have been planted for a week and a few days. Almost all of them have large, beautiful green leaves. Except for this one. This one, it's, um, I don't know what its problem is. I, oh, oh, so it doesn't have leaves. It's not going to survive. Yeah, this one is going to die. Unless it can grow leaves. Anyway, so all of them look healthy. They're tall. Some of these two at the back here, they're, they're kind of bending over, but they might, they might be able to go straight soon. Hopefully we'll be planting them in the soil later today, after we cut the drums. Anyway, I really hope this one survives. It's too bad. So one of our main concentrations here is our ability to use what we grow in the yard back into the kitchen and then we use the scraps from what we use in the kitchen and put it back into our compost and we use that compost to add to the garden so everything is a cycle the rabbits allow us to get manure and meat that we use in the garden and in the kitchen the garden produces vegetables etc that we use in the kitchen the kitchen produces compost that we use in the garden and we have a complete cycle which can lead to some self-sustained sustainability He wanted two, mm -hmm. but he took four. So yeah. all he had six, five, five, yeah, five. All right, we had five kits left, and now we have three kits left because the other guy came and took the took, took um another one last night. I am not selling any more rabbits, so those three are gonna stay with us as meat rabbits. Well, two of them. One is staying with us permanently as our breeder it's gonna be the second buck and the other two are going to be food she's trying to say she's thirsty give us some water well it is feeding time all right so this setup works wonderfully Just open up the top. Measure out a cup of feed. And dump it in. And there you go. Let's see, we back up. So I don't know if you're wondering why we named a male, a male rabbit Meredith, but if there are any um, fans of this show Grey's Anatomy, you will recognize that this is a grey rabbit and um, my daughter is a huge fan of that show. So she, well, she's supposed to be keeping this one. This is going to be her rabbit, grey, and since it's grey, and she's a fan we call it Meredith 
whether it was a male or a female, we always agreed that it's going to be named Meredith. Because it's Meredith Grey. If you want to see more of this content, please leave, leave a comment in the comment section. And tell us what you like, what you'd like to see a little more of. We'll be very happy to answer any questions that you have.